GM is getting into the logistics business, like shipping and stuff. As part of its CES News Bonanza, the Detroit-based automaker introduced Bright Drop. And at its core, this business unit is designed to help delivery and service companies do more with less. Drawing on its experience building electric vehicles, GM will offer several products for commercial customers, including an all-electric delivery van, a motorized pallet, more on that in a minute, and plenty of software and services to tie all of this together. But an automaker getting into the logistics business seems, well, at first glance, kind of random. I mean, why don't they just start building, say, consumer electronics or even footwear? Well, actually, though, this isn't quite the non sequitur it initially sounds like. For starters, GM has plenty of experience building electric vehicles, but it also sees enormous growth potential in the logistics business. Get this, by 2025, the automaker estimates the combined market for food and parcel delivery will grow to 850 billion, billion with a B dollars, in just the US. Additionally, by 2030, GM expects urban delivery traffic to swell by 78%, with a big increase in the number of commercial vehicles out there. So clearly there's an opportunity here, one that rivals have identified as well. I mean, Ford has the upcoming e-transit electric van. There's also Lordstown Motors, Tesla, Rivian, and others. They all want a slice of that logistics pie. Bright Drop's new commercial van is called the EV600. With Altium batteries on board, it promises an electric-only driving range of up to 250 miles, trouncing that e-transit, which maxes out at just 126. When hooked to a 120 kilowatt DC fast charger, it can absorb 170 miles of range in just an hour. As its name suggests, the EV600 offers 600 cubic feet of cargo space inside, and that's about four times more than you get in a Chevy Suburban, which is a big SUV. There's also plenty of standard or available tech, including stuff like parking sensors, automatic high beams, and even rear cross traffic alert. Another product Bright Drop will offer is the EP1 Propulsion Assisted Pallet. Basically, it's a box on wheels you put stuff in. It's designed to help delivery and logistics companies more efficiently move stuff short distances, say, from the back of a truck up to a customer's front door. It prevents couriers from having to make multiple trips or strain themselves. With a wheel hub motor, the EP1 can move itself along at up to 3 miles per hour, or however slowly its human controller is shuffling along. Now, it has 23 cubic feet of space inside, that's much less than a Suburban, though it can hold up to 200 pounds of goods. Thanks to a cloud-based software platform, customers can manage their EV600 and EP1 fleets, track vehicle locations, monitor battery charge status, and even push out over-the-air software updates. The Bright Drop EV600 launches this year with FedEx snatching up the first 500 examples. Additional customers will be able to get their hands on them starting in early 2022. As for the EP1, it will also be available this year. Now, pricing and purchase information along with a whole bunch of other details, well, none of that has been released just yet, so stay tuned for a lot more news about Bright Drop. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go listen to some killer tunes while going for a run in my brand new shoes. But if you want more from CES, make sure you check out our video all about the Celestic. It's a brand new all-electric flagship sedan from Cadillac. And I got to tell you, it is so cool.